October is we saw a heck of a college basketball game tonight. I, I think both teams competed at a high level. I think both teams had spurts where they seemingly took, took control of the game. The other team battled back. I felt like we took control a couple times. I felt like South Florida took control a couple times. But uh, for the most part, I'm happy. Uh, I'm very proud of our, uh, our effort. We'll clean up some mistakes. And I think if we can give that uh, effort on a consistent basis, we can get we can get pretty good real quick. Joe, what uh, what did you see through your eyes as far as the last play and whether or not Chase got the ball off on time? It doesn't matter what I see. I mean, I, I don't have the, the, the uh, I can't go to the monitor. So, uh, I, you know. How much explanation did you get from the refs on the rule on the rule book about? Well, I know the rule is. I mean, it's point three. It's, it's got to be a tip. But I, I, mean, I, I can't comment on this year. You know, that, that, that didn't affect the game. For this game. It's, it, you know, it's a rule. They, they saw what they saw. Call what they called, and uh, that's the way it is. Chase, it was a pretty perfect throw by Jamel there. Did you feel like you could make that play? And when you did, did you feel like you made it in time? Uh, I, I mean, I thought I did, but again, it's hard to comment on the rest. We haven't seen it. Uh, the rule is you have to tip it in, and whether I did or not, the call was made. Was that the way you guys drew up the play to come off screens and for that spot and everything? Uh, they're, they're trying to hit Chase. That's what they're trying to do. I think Jamel's uh, inbound. That's uh, over a 7-3 guy, not, not, not bad, right? just, just that alone. A lot of some offensive coordinators would like to sign him right about now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of NFL guys can't do that. So um, it was a pretty safe to say Bernard's back. Yeah, Bernard was, was, was good. I mean, I, we've got to give him chase to test this. I mean, he, he's, he hasn't been the same, but he's been hurt. I mean, and he's starting to get his confidence back. He's starting, when you're a shooter and your ankles hurt and you don't have balance, that's a bad combination. And he sucked it up, and uh, I think you could see some some uh, glimpses of it the last, uh, probably the last 10 days or so, where he's, he's put, looked like he's, he's coming back and we need him to play at that level. Yeah, Chase, how much difference does that make for, for your team when Bernard's being Bernard? I mean, it's another threat. Uh, he's a great player. It opens things up. Like, Brett, Brett was able to get a few laughs on them over playing Bernard. Uh, but it opens a lot up. Uh, whenever he's firing on that, you saw, I mean, 32 points is pretty impressive in itself. And, it's just another aspect to our offensive arsenal, I guess. Not another big threat that people have to think about. Chase, what are you guys going to look back at and wish you guys had done a little better in this game down the stretch? Obviously, not counting the last play, but where yeah. do you guys maybe lose this one? I don't know where we lost it. I know, personally, I'm going to look back at plays that I met, I didn't get. I got back to it on a play we talked about, and I just wasn't ready for it, and it got me. So I'm going to think about that. I'm going to think about missed free throws. Um, but it's... I mean, it was a great game. Everyone played really hard. There's going to be mistakes. Uh, I mean, uh, I had three turnovers, four turnovers. I think about that a lot, too. Joe, Nate Hicks played a heck of a game tonight on the boards and on defense. I mean, Nate, Nate has progressed, and I, I think he came out of Saturday's game with some confidence. And Nate's defense a couple of games previous to that was, wasn't Nate, it was the matchups. I mean, people with, with small, we don't know right now, without a lot of depth, and people play small fours. You know, it's hard to play. Our, our small five, small five. We played FIU. Buckles is really a three man. It was a three man Louisville. That's hard for Nate to play against. And uh, I thought he, he competed at an unbelievably high level and, and was, was spectacular tonight. Did you can you see some progression? You know, you started to at FIU saw a bit more. You know, against the Alpine Sanford team, but you know, seemed like they progressed a bit more tonight. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, we we made progress you know, from a competitive standpoint and an effort standpoint. And I I have no. This coaching staff, we have no complaints about how hard the guys play. I mean, they, they, they play hard. You feel the same, the checks? Uh, yeah, that you can feel it with the team. Everyone's playing hard. Everyone's the energy was much better tonight. Uh, so, I mean, it's a step towards every day. We're trying to gain an inch, and we definitely take a step forward today. Regroup in time for Mississippi State. You got a quick turnaround. And that's, you know, we we will we'll group. I mean, that, so I think one of the good things about college athletic, you know, basketball especially is. Get, you do get quick turnarounds. I don't we just sit around and pout about it. We'll, we'll regroup tonight, regroup tomorrow, and, and we'll line up on Thursday and play as hard as we can again. Has anyone ever dissected that rule to see whether it means like a catch and release or it literally has to be like just a touch straight it's a in? Tip is what the rule is. So it's got to be a tip. Is what do they define what a you know what a tip is? Is that just like literally off the fingers or? I'm sure it's defined, but I, I've never. Yeah. There are pictures that show the ball out of his hand with the light not on, but it still can't be a shot. Anything else?